My name is Jaden Rosenberger, and I'm going to be talking about the Woolsey Fire that happened in Ventura in Los Angeles County. And this is for my ESRM 462 Coastal and Marine Management class. So, a little backstory on why I decided to pick this topic for my video is one of my childhood best friends in my hometown, her parents moved to Paradise, California when we were like juniors so either 2018 2017 or 2019 anyways they lived there but because my friend didn't want to switch high school she just stayed in uh, my hometown and lived with her grandparents well when the paradise fire happened her family actually lost everything they lost like their house boats clothes, everything. Um, my friend lost her birth certificate. So it was very devastating to see that happen to somebody that I actually like knew. And so I decided to pick this topic because honestly, I didn't even know this was a real thing. Like the Woosley fire, I didn't even know this happened. So that's how much attention was brought to my attention. So it was yeah, that's why I decided to do this. So, and then a little background on the fire. Here I have a picture of this house that's engulfed um, by flame. And I believe this is in Los Angeles County. But the Woosley Fire started on Thursday, November 8th, 2018. And it started in Ventura County and then it spread uh, into Los Angeles County and so more than 200,000 people were evacuated thankfully uh, the casualties were limited to only three which is still significant because lives were lost but it was only three and there was no significant aircraft or fire engine accidents, so that was good. Um, there were like victim shelters and animal shelters that were open, so that was really nice. And then um, 96,000 acres or 151.5 square miles were burnt in the city of Los Angeles. 1,643 structures were destroyed. Uh, 364 structures were damaged in both counties. Uh, 184 homes and five commercial structures were damaged. 1,075 homes and 46 commercial structures were destroyed. Approximately 57 thousand structures were not sustainably affected so that's that's crazy um the incident approximately costed 52 million dollars in fire damage and that wasn't like just the cost because the economy is also hit when fires um strike and so Um, Governor Gavin Newsom on April 12th, 2019, made it uh, critical to make communities more resilient by considering updating codes that govern defensible space and encouraging cost-effective hardening of homes and strengthening evacuation um, and improving land uses to reduce the damage to life and property from wildfires. So this was actually really good just because we do need to do something about it because fires are just not going to stop happening, especially with the day and age that we're in now facing climate change. So that is good. And then here I have a picture of a map and you can see like where it like started and then it like came up and stuff. So yeah. Um, and then here I have a picture of how it hit the coastline. 
and so it's actually really crazy it crossed over pch and what i was reading is that it was really hard for um the firefighters to like get access to a lot of the fire because like there were no roads and it's just really hard to get to the fire and then here i have another picture and i'm pretty positive this is pch and like you can see all the smoke and stuff so it's really crazy and so like i was talking about um climate change it actually helps fires because in california we are known for having droughts and so when it's this dry season and we have invasive plants that aren't tolerable to like drought seasons they just die basically and so it's easier for like those plants to catch on fire and burn um so yeah and so basically after the fire was done and stuff um the california office wanted to get rid of all the debris from the fire because it was toxic and it needed to be cleared out and it was unsafe and so they were working with like people and supporting like them clearing it out so like the people like the homeowners or anything like they didn't have to clean it out themselves which they could have opted out to do that um but more than 900 properties in Los Angeles County were helped by the government for the debris removal. And so I find that really important because if you didn't clear it up, they were going to like deem your house unsafe, which it should be because that still has debris in it. Um, so... So yeah, um, I think how we could help, well, I think how we could mitigate fires in California is planting native plants. That's like a really big thing, I think, because they are drought resistant, like they're built for this, and so I don't think that they would catch on fire as easily and burn as quickly as say like non-native plants that die um would catch on fire as quickly so yeah um thank you